Hello everyone, back to you into today's video. I was going to have a look at the uh, Soda Cycle, so Soda Cycle 24 uh, today. Uh, actually, I've done the video, but it goes on so long that it's going to take too long to upload it today. Uh, it won't be ready until later on this afternoon, probably into this evening, uh, if I was to do it today. So I'm going to save that for Sunday. You'll be able to see the uh, video on Soda Cycle 24 on Sunday at gasworkbiz.com. Today I'm just going to have a quick look at the CFS temperature and precipitation forecast going out for the next month or so, see if there's any sign of any... Uh, uh, decent weather coming up and using website webweb.net and find that uh, on my uh, links page uh, so uh, I'll just say about the advertising uh, there's a video ad sitting just above uh, my weather video at gasweathervids.com please play that video ad you'll be supporting gasweathervids.com by doing that it's for Budweiser and the FA Cup uh, it can be uh, shared um, it can be clicked through all of that kind of thing uh, fully interactive so uh, do play around with it and enjoy it and uh, you'll be supporting gasweathervids.com at the same time. So these are the main maximum temperature uh, forecasts. We're going to start off with from the long range CFS model uh, from the U from the uh, United States. By the way, I've got a, a bit of a sore mouth still at the moment, so uh, if you're having a job to understand what I'm t uh, saying, uh, very sorry uh, about that. It is getting better all the time, but it's still a little bit on the sore side. Uh, so this is for the week taking us to the 16th of May, so for the coming week, really. And we see that we've got a cool week coming up. Temperatures are going to be below average. Uh, this is saying between around 7 and 11 degrees. It may be a little bit up on that, but it is going to be uh, a cool week coming up. Now, if we go out to the second uh, of the period, which uh, I'm wait for it uh, to load, it'll be coming up. Here we go. This is taking us from the week to the 23rd uh, of May. And again, we see temperatures really quite modest here. No real increase again between around uh, 8 to around 13 degrees. Again, you may be able to slip that up a little bit. That may be a bit on the pessimistic side, uh, but no sign of any particularly warm uh, weather coming up if a CFS model is right to the week to be 23rd going out to the third week uh, of the month and we see that uh, temperatures up to the 30th of May again very very modest a little bit of an increase in the north no real increase in the south temperatures between around 10 and uh, 13 degrees uh, once again so if this is right we are looking at some very cool weather really uh, for the rest of May no sign of any particular warm weather uh, coming up in the foreseeable future in terms of the mean uh, maximum temperatures uh, as we move out into June, this is taking us to the week to the 6th of June. Again, it's very modest temperatures here. Where is the warmth? It's not really in evidence. Temperatures between around 10 and 12 degrees, 13 for Ireland. Uh, you can probably increase this a bit. I think that is too low again. Uh, a few degrees you can put that up by. But certainly nothing particularly uh, warm coming up into the start of June, if that's right. Going further into June, this is taking us uh, to the week to the 13th of June. A little bit of an increase, as you would expect, going into June. Uh, but really, temperatures are still modest at around 13, uh, 14, 15 degrees. In actuality, you can probably increase that to around 16, 17, 18, but, but still below uh, where we should be for the time of the year. Uh, the next weekly period, which takes us to the 20th of June, well, again, disappointing temperatures there. No sign of uh, much happening. So the next six weeks, if that's right, looking really quite disappointing in terms of the temperatures. Uh, there will be warmer days, of course, but nothing particularly uh, above average, certainly uh, not particularly hot coming up if a CFS model is correct. Have a look at the precipitation. Uh, we see that for the coming week up to the 16th of May, uh, we've got quite a bit of precipitation here. Uh, the blue colours indicate we're in for quite an uh, uh, unsettled week with the showers or longer spells of rain. As we move out uh, to the uh, 23rd of May, the week up to the 23rd of May, uh, a lot of uh, rain in the north, perhaps not quite so much in the south, but that's still pretty unsettled. Certainly no sign of this area of uh, high pressure out to the Atlantic, the Azores. So no sign of that really uh, impacted the weather up to the 23rd of May. Going out beyond that in towards uh, the 30th of May, uh, well, this is uh, showing that uh, we've got quite a bit of rain coming across the eastern parts of the country into the southeast. It's drier in the north and the west as high pressure uh, ridges in. That's high pressure ridging into the north and west of the British Isles. Uh, that's really quite cool uh, if that's right, the high pressure up there. And the low pressure is to the southeast, around southeastern parts of the British Isles and into central Europe. So that's quite an unusual pattern. It would be very cool and wet for the south if that's right at the end of the month. We'll uh, keep an eye on that. Perhaps a little bit drier as we go to the 6th of June, the week up to the 6th of June, uh, first week of uh, June. A little bit 
bit drier, but the heights are still really in the west, that's where the driest weather is, so all the time the winds are coming around that high pressure from the north and the northeast, keeping temperatures on the disappointing side, but at least that's a little bit drier uh, going into the first week of June. Does that last, that dry weather? No, it does. If we go to the 13th of June, the Atlantic is coming back. This is really quite alarming. Uh, we've lost all the heights. They've pushed down towards uh, Spain, Portugal. We're bringing in the jet stream out, taking a lot of precipitation in across the country from the week, uh, from the uh, 6th to the 13th of June, very unsettled. Second week of June, if that's correct. And then finally going out to six weeks away, which takes us to the 20th of June. It's still very unsettled. No uh, real sign of high pressure building in here. Uh, very unsettled with showers or longer spells of rain. The Atlantic is dominating. The high pressure is main to the south. A little bit of high pressure to the south, perhaps just keeping it a bit drier uh, there. But certainly it's not a settled, uh, settled week by any means. And with the jet stream still running through across the country, it's pretty cool as well. So very disappointing charts from the CFS uh, model. This updates a couple of times a day. Um, this is just the latest update. Uh, but very unsettled uh, and disappointing, really, charts there uh, for the rest of May and into June as well. Looks like we're uh, seeing some pretty quite disappointing weather indeed, if that's right. Uh, obviously, I'll be keeping you updated on all of it. And these uh, season models are very experimental. They're just for fun, really, to see uh, what they're showing. Don't take them too seriously. Uh, but no real indication there uh, that there's anything particularly hot or uh, settled or summery coming up in the foreseeable future. Uh, I'll be doing the weekend forecast tomorrow. It's going to be an unsettled one and pretty cool one uh, as well. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember the uh, Solar Cycle 24 video. You'll be able to see it. It was going to be day. You'll be able to see it on Sunday. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.